All right, going live again. Going live, baby. Going live. Sorry about what happened in the past one. I don't know. My phone went crazy and it just kind of stopped. Mm. I think it was it was overheating. So it's just uh, you know things that happen. So nevertheless, the show must go on. So here we go, guys. I'm going to paint something super awesome right now. I'm gonna do a landscape. Let's do this, all right? The approach that I have, as I was saying before, uh, but I couldn't because of my stinking phone, is that, <laughs> is that um, it's not for everyone, you know? The, the, this approach is not for everyone, of course, because, well, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is the whole, uh, the whole, not thinking when you're painting is what I was trying to say earlier. That that aspect we should all look for, you know, that that uh silence in the mind, you know, it's it's such a uh it's such an interesting concept because we want to be able to uh have a what do you call it uh Sort of like a dialogue, right? It's 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 natural for us when we're you know doing something, but if Michael Jordan and I know that I'm, this probably date me, I didn't say uh, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm just in my mid thirties. But uh, if Michael Jordan or, or Kobe Bryant or any any athlete, if they were thinking about, oh man, what am I gonna do next? You know, they they can't. It's just it doesn't happen that way. You know, many people have told me before, the way you paint looks like you just, you just kind of like, you don't, you're not really, you know, you're not really caring. And it's like, it's not that I'm not caring. It's that, it's that I'm not, I, I've trained myself over years, I've trained myself. And it's taking me, it's taking me a while. It's not, it hasn't been an easy, you know, ride. It really hasn't been an easy ride. I know. I, I know some people tell me you make it seem easy or this or that, but but really it hasn't been an easy ride because because first I had to learn, like Picasso said, right, the the rules to then break them. And I think he wasn't talking about technical, you know, the, the technique or you know technicalities or whatever. Maybe maybe a bit of that, but I think that what he was trying to say, what I've learned later on through experience, was that. He was trying to say, uh, then you let him go, you know. But of course, he, he, he didn't use those words. I don't think he did. But I'll use them. <laughs> you, 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 learn, you learn the things so that you can then let him go. Because if you don't, this is one of the things that I've learned. If, if you don't know how to let go as you're creating artwork, uh, it becomes very... Difficult to create artwork, and it's and sooner or later you start finding out. This is what happens in the beginning. First, you realize your first years, you realize that you're not quote unquote good enough, right? That you have you need practice, you need to get your ABCs down, and this and that. That's the first thing you start realizing. Thank you so much, Didi. Hi. <laughs> the very first thing you start realizing is that you 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 haven't gotten your ABCs down, right? Okay. So you get a little bit of practice and you get happy about it. And now this is not for this is not everyone, but certainly this is what happened to me and what I saw with other uh, fellow artists. And then you go through the through the process of you realize you are making progress. Those years are sort of a very golden years because ignorance is a bliss. You don't know that you don't know. So in your mind, you're doing this great thing, right? And you are. That's, that's the beauty of that. The problem is not other people. The problem is us. We'll lose that right away. As soon as you start learning more, as soon as you start understanding other stuff in art, naturally, you want to apply that, right? Because you're learning. You're, 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 it's like a sponge, right? The problem is that we don't normally, most of us don't say, Oh man, that's so awesome. I'm going to apply that to what I already know. No, we say, I'm going to master that. <laughs> and then that's a problem. 
Because what starts happening is that you start looking at what you do with negative eyes. And, and it happens so... Uh, and I'm not trying to discourage anyone. I'm trying to say, look, this is, this is something that happens to many artists. Uh, pay attention and learn how to get out of it. This is where a lot of artists get artist block. Because they rather do nothing than do the wrong thing. You know? So that period is the learning period. And, and many artists, what happens, it certainly happened to me, is that you want to, you want to get good at your craft, but you start sort of uh, feeling a little sad that you're not that good. Because now you know theory, now you know certain things that you didn't know before. That when you were happily painting, you didn't know, right? And now you look at those paintings you did before and you're like, oh my God, how did you, anyone bought that? You know, or how did I show that to the world? <laughs> but the reality is that when you were doing it, you thought you were Michelangelo, which that's the way you're supposed to be your artwork in every stage. But uh, so anyways, the phase after that is what I call the maturity phase. I've been painting this way. Hi, Mary. Thank you for the question. I've been painting this way for about, about four years, really. I've always painted quick. I've always painted loose. But the way I'm painting now, I've been uh, more or less really learning how to just let go. And by that, of course, you apply what you've learned over the years, but you start letting go. Letting go is, is one of the things that's the most uh, difficult for many artists because we're trained to control. We want to control the, the, the brushwork. We want to control the... Yeah, as a matter of fact, when we're painting, the very first thing that we want to do is we want to control the values, the color, and all of that. And one of the things that I saw in, in uh, Masterworks, when, you, when I visit galleries, anyways, the, the Masterworks that I like, anyways, the, the, the artists, is that it looked like they didn't put much thought into it. It almost looked like, um, and I see that with John Singer Sargent, and I see that with, with uh, Goya, with Velasquez, it looks like they, were, they didn't sit there and be like, oh, how do I get this, this, this color right? And, and you know, how do, I, how do I combine this color perfectly? It almost seemed like it was very intuitive, because you can tell. You, you start learning little things as you, as you go that are experiential. Not things that someone else teaches you, but things that you start noticing about your own brushwork, your own, you know, how artists created the work. And you start realizing things that they did, and that's one of them, for me anyways. I started seeing that artists... Uh, Hola, Jose! <laughs> Brian says, how's it going, Brian? And you start realizing little things that artists do or did that had to do with uh, a, a more mature approach. And that is the third stage. That is the stage that I, I believe that we all want to be, regardless of how you paint or how you draw, regardless of, of your, your, uh, the way that you create artwork. The third stage is maturity. And maturity looks different for different artists. But what I've come to learn is that it means intuitive painting. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to paint like me. Intuitive painting is when you start going on, um, like, you know, like I mentioned before, Kobe Bryant doesn't go, oh, that's a great opportunity for me to score, right? Or to take the ball and do A, B, and C. No, it's intuitive because of all the years of practice and all the hours now they, they, they come without him really uh, uh, even thinking about it, you know? So it's a very spontaneous approach. And that looks wrong when you're creating artwork. It even looks wrong. Your, your, your values are off. You're this, you're that. But you start, you really start, the more you do it and the more you let go, because it really has to come down to letting go, the more you realize that that no, you're, you've tapped into something else. You've tapped into something much more, uh, it looks aggressive. And you can see that in, in many athletes, artists, or whatever. But it, it's much more real to them. To them anyways, you know. It's, it's, it usually comes with speed, but in different ways, right? That doesn't mean that, that if you create, you know, very uh, hyper-realistic portraits, it's not going to mean that you're going to do this type of speed. It might mean, I don't know, and you still get away with doing hyper-realistic portraits. It's my belief that 
John Singer, Sergeant, painted very fast. Now, I don't know, I wasn't there, of course, to see him paint, but based on what I see, and the brushwork, and the, the, the movement, that cat was painting fast. Just like Velázquez and Goya, and many other artists that I believe were very uh, intuitive painters. They weren't, they weren't like we, we picture them, these artists that are like, let me see, where am I going to make that line? Oh, right here. No. These guys were like, pop, 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 pop. And the next thing. Because it becomes intuitive. Anyway, so <laughs> there goes my rant. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, awesome uh, demo. It shouldn't, it shouldn't uh, mean that this is, this is the way that you're supposed to uh, do your artwork. What I'm trying to... What I'm trying to communicate is, regardless of how you create your artwork, I mean, you can only do you. No one can do me, right? <laughs> and I can't do someone else. But regardless of how you create your artwork, what does matter is that you learn how to, how to start letting go. And depending on the stage you are, right? For example, if you're in the learning stage right now where you're getting your ABCs, don't let go the ABCs. But let go of the idea that you, that you can't do it right or that you don't have time or that... You know, you, start, you have to start letting go of all those preconceived notions that are not going to help you in the long run. I'll leave you guys with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. Man, I'm one hell of an artist. Bam. <laughs> Hi, Christer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Guys, if you found any, 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 any inch of value here, please share it. Share the love. Uh, let them know who the world's greatest living artist is, Jose Trujillo. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.